Good morning. Hi, this is Travis from the National Weather Service, and this is your weather hazard briefing for Thursday, July 18th. Look at the current water vapor image, and we do have a an area here of concern. We have a dry cold front coming over Washington. You can see these uh, green lines are isobars. They're very zonal flow. Um, this is a 500 millibar heights. These isobars are. And you can see the drier areas here is this a, a dry cold front that's going to move across our area and bring very windy conditions today. Looking at our weather story, we do have uh, wind advisories out for the the northern Snake River Plain, um, including Idaho Falls, uh, Rexburg, uh, Atomic City, and then we also have a um, lake wind advisory. These weather advisories in our northern areas are going to have really strong winds, uh, cross winds across I-20 uh, right here. And then as well as I-15, uh, Highway 20, and then I-15. And then you can see for the American Falls Reservoir, we'll have some gusty winds and causing some really um, high waves and some dangerous boating conditions, particularly late this morning into uh, this afternoon. Uh, looking at the models, in the short term, you can see it moves this uh, boundary through us. Uh, very zonal. These green lines are zonal. And then the drier air as it comes in on Friday, uh, so this will also be windy um, on Friday. And then you can see by late Saturday, these isobars uh, start to rise up. That means high pressure ridging is building in. We'll have uh, lighter winds across the area, warmer conditions, drier conditions. And you see that continues into Sunday, um, even into Monday as that ridge moves off to the east. Um, as far as our surface uh, depiction of what's going on, it shows that frontal boundary moving across us today. The biggest impacts are, are going to be, again, winds. Uh, our, our temperatures will still be warm, um, near normal, if not maybe a degree below, uh, very similar to what we saw yesterday. Um, the, again, the biggest impact, as I mentioned, is going to be winds uh, up to 50 miles an hour here. Some areas it might get to 60, but in general, it'll be up to 50 miles an hour. You see some ridge tops in the 50 miles an hour. And then across the whole Snake River Plain, you know, 40 to 50, um, and then the areas of 30 to 40 is the Eastern Magic Valley, and a lot of ridge tops in the 30, which is kind of the, the critical values for fire weather concerns is above 30 miles an hour for the Snake River Plain, and then as far as the ridge tops uh, across all the other zones are 25 miles an hour. So we will reach critical conditions for fire weather concerns for wind and any fire that starts today will will certainly take off. Um, the nice thing is we are not critical conditions for relative humidity so that's why we won't have a red flag out for today. But again if any fire gets started um, the, the small difference here won't won't matter. We are not critical. You're going to look to be critical. That's be below 15%, but you can see we are getting that 15 to 20% range across the Arco Desert areas, and then other areas are in the 20 to 25 across most of the area. Um, as far as our surface depiction for tomorrow, the, the frontal boundaries kind of move through us, but we still kind of remain zonal flows. The um, remain quite breezy again, I said, in that zonal flow. Our temperatures do drop a little bit, uh, a couple degrees below normal. Um, again, it's just a mild cold front, but very windy. And then as far as our RHs, it does get drier behind that cold front. Um, a lot, a lot of, you can see the quite a bit of areas across the Arco Desert and the valleys and the chalice salmon uh, reach below 15%. So there's could be concern for red flag for that day because if we do remain gusty, you can see the 30 mile an hour is reached across the Arco Desert. And then also the 25 of the ridge tops were above 25 in a lot of those areas. So we look at that again today. These RHs just did drop in this last model run. So if they remain low um, this morning, maybe we look at uh, putting out a potentially a red flag for Friday um, for the concerns for the winds and RH um, for fire weather concerns. Looking at our, our max temperatures on Saturday, they rise up to near normal. Um, with the high pressure starting to build back in. And then by Sunday with high pressure uh, in several degrees above normal, um, around five degrees above normal. And of course it'd be much drier as well. And then, but not very windy. And as we can see by Monday when that southerly flow that I showed you earlier was um, a, lot of, a lot of areas in the Eastern Magic Valley. So that will maybe uh, reach a hundred, um, particularly the lower areas and then also in the Southern Highlands. And then as we go into the starts uh, late Sunday into Monday, you can see again that high pressure ridging goes to the east. It allows for that southerly flow on Monday. That's where we get our, our max temps on Monday. And then we cool down on Tuesday and Wednesday with all this moisture moving up from the south, monsoon moisture. So our chance of thunderstorms Tuesday afternoon. 
and then uh, also on Wednesday afternoon, mainly in the mountains, but could extend in the, uh, the plains and the lower areas as well. So that concludes the brief. If you have any questions, give us a call here at that number. Thank you.